And we're out here with Luna. We're gonna work on some recall. Yeah, that's her big goal for the owners. It's just a really, really solid recall. She's got quite a bit of prey drive. Very, very, uh, very excited about the environment. Luna, come! Yeah, good. This is good girl, so we make sure she comes into us. Finishes with that set. We mark and reward it. That, we mark that with a yes. You need to learn how to take treats, man. There you go. Mark that with a yes and we're gonna have to treat and then release her and then we'll repeat as we need. So we have her e-collar on. We're gonna use that if she ignores the recall command in conjunction with the leech. So if I say come, you know, as she nears the end of the leash kind of thing, I'll say I'll say come and if she ignores me, she'll feel the e-collar, but she'll also hit the end of the leash. So it'll kind of help direct her back towards us if she ignores the e-collar. This is usually the first step towards adding the e-collar into our recall. Is uh, just switching, going going on the long leash. Usually we'll do some reps of the recall on the long line with the prong collar, She's pooping. And uh, after we, we see some some proficiency with that, then we will switch over to the electric. So with the electric collar for her, I just have it right now. It's at like a 15, but I'll play around with it. You know, I'm pretty quick at moving the dial up and down. And it's something I always request owners practice is like getting good at moving those dials up and down. You know, practice using it without it being on the dog. So you get a feel for how far you move it and how far it goes up. Luna, come. Luna, come. Yeah, good girl. Good. So there's a good example of using that leash to help stop her if she ignores the e-collar. Good girl. So in that case, I used the e-collar. The first time it was at a 15, but then I bumped it up to a level 20. 25, I should say. So I bumped it up a fair bit. And I tapped it and she came back. Break. And it may be because she hit the end of the leash or it's because she felt the collar. We'll find out here after a few more reps. Ideally, I say that command just before she gets to the end of the leash. Luna, come. Yes, good girl. There's a good, perfect example. So there I tapped the E, the electric, because she ignored the recall. I didn't get that reflexive response, so I tapped electric and she uh, had that, that response to, to turn back to me, which I praised and rewarded her. I usually repeat the recall command. Once I see the dog feels it, I'll repeat the command. Once I see they're starting to come back to me, that just helps draw them in a bit more. I might back up and add some move, some prey movement to that to draw them into me. Um, I get excited usually too. You know, as soon as I see they turn and acknowledge me, whether it's because I said the recall or I tapped the electric, I want to start getting excited and draw them back into me. And after a few reps of this, the classical conditioning will happen. Um, and what you'll see is I'll start to say come and she'll come back to me reflexively as if she's feeling that electric, but she's not because she's just avoiding it, right? So she'll anticipate it and start coming back to me faster to avoid that electric. And she'll learn that she can kind of win the game like that. If she comes fast enough, she avoids the, uh, any stimulation. Good. And so we get that solid, solid off this recall. Okay, don't go there, so see she does it. Dial up a bit on the recaller. Luna, come! Yes, good girl! Nice, papa! Good, mama! Good girl! Yeah, good girl! Okay, great! Good girl, Luna! Good girl, Luna! Yeah! So good! So good! Luna, come! Yeah, good girl! Good girl! Oh, she's a screaming fast girl, hey? He's a speedy. That's a sweet. Keep break. I don't know if uh, how friendly she is with other dogs, actually. She seems pretty excited, but... Hey? Huh? I don't know either. Yeah. He's cute. Super cute. He's so cute. Yeah. Yeah.